in your request that says that you're looking to build to the maximum allowable FAR, it's not like you're voluntarily uh, leaving FAR on the table. It's the government uh, and regulations has mandated that you leave that FAR and it goes back to O'Toole. So I just want to be clear, this is not an act of generosity on the part of, let me finish. Okay. And, You'll, you'll have a chance. <laughs> okay. uh, and so, uh, so now what's happening is that um, you're asking us to rezone uh, this area back to the, sort of the height level of what was the community facility FAR, or what, for folks, I, I don't want to just use technical terms, community facility, it's community facility zoning that allows bigger buildings. And the reason it allows bigger buildings is because there's a community benefit i.e. a hospital. A, a hospital or some other school, university, hospital. There's some other community benefit for the building to that FAR. It was not designed for luxury housing or any housing. Now, property knowing full well what the zoning was and paid a lesser amount for it, why is it our responsibility, I mean we're not your dad, why is it our responsibility, you know, to rezone you up? There's a, there's a land use, re, there's a land use in place, it was there, you may not agree with it, but every developer doesn't agree with it. Every developer in the city wants more FAR, every developer wants to build a building. Right now, you have no connection to whatever's going on over in O'Toole. Whatever, and, and, and I'm not saying that this community agrees with it, doesn't agree with it, but O'Toole's on that side. Now we have a private developer in a landmark district asking us to rezone up uh, an enormous amount.
the 150,000 we're leaving on the table, the 86,700 that we're not building on the site is well in excess of what was granted before. Uh, so we think that it okay, makes but sense. That's, that's because you have to provide the open space. It's not because of your uh, benevolent situation. We, You're mandated to do all this. Okay, but, let me just ask but you. But I have to just correct that point because okay. yes, we do have to have open space, but zoning would also allow that for a different configuration of the buildings, I know we're in a landmark district, that would allow for the buildings to be taller and higher, even under current zoning, and allow for the open space. Well, so I guess you don't want to do that, or else you wouldn't be before us. The <laughs> final thing I do want to mention is what we have at Society, which today is encumbered and will be encumbered without this project by a large scale community facility. And you do have to think about what the consequences are. We think that creating this and turning this into Okay, I'm just going to make a thing. Are you, are you done? I just want to say, just, I think that's just... You've got to speak a little louder, I think. Thinking about this as a residential project, I think, is something that also makes sense for this community, given the other opportunities yeah. of the other communities. I, I, you're, I'm sure you feel that way. That's your legitimate opinion. I'm going to make one more comment. Excuse me. I'm going to make one more comment. Let me just say this. Um, all the buildings that you're quoted were built prior to the zoning resolution. And when they did the, the, when they rezoned the area in the in the 60s, they understood that these were in excess of the zoning that they put out. So the city fathers back there obviously felt that it still commanded this kind of zone. You may not agree with it, but that's the zoning that you bought it, and that was the premise. So it's not impressive that the buildings that were built prior to the zoning resolution are in excess of the current zoning, because the current zoning saw that, and they still decided to rezone it the way it was. So we understand that there's buildings, but they're not contextual, and your buildings are in excess of what the zoning is. You bought it knowing full well what the zoning was. And I don't know if it's our responsibility. It's our responsibility as a as an issue of land use and appropriateness from where we see in an historic district to rezone you to that level. It may or may not be. about anybody's economic interests, and I don't know that we want to need to talk about economic, uh, what the economics of the project uh, are, but I do think that what we're talking about is land use and what's appropriate for the site and a historic <laughs> and, you know, that's the discussion that I'm glad we're having and we need to have. Infrastructure for a hospital. Y